First book, an absolute classic. Oh my God, another one, one of my absolute favorites. Startups are unpredictable. Oh my God, I should start saying the word basically so much. Stop scrolling social media. I'm talking about myself. What is up everyone? My name is Nuba and I'm a newly minted startup uh, founder slash co-founder and let's get this day rolling i'm very excited about the week we have two new teammates starting i am so so excited about that i think we got so lucky with incredible engineers that we're um, adding to the team i can't wait to meet and greet them i mean i've already met them but i mean i can't wait to start working with them but in this video today i wanted to chat about the books that um i think have already been helpful in our startup journey and will be helpful in the future as a reference so hopefully you know this will be helpful to, to you as well and um let's get it started we are going into one of my most favorite stores ever <laughs> and the store is incredibly basic it's Amazon Bookstore. Actually, I don't think it's even called Amazon Bookstore. It's called Amazon Four Star. Um, but the key part for me in it is the fact that it has a bookstore and I absolutely love it. And we're gonna pick up a book for a friend. Last time I was here, I got this book. It's called The End of the Golden Gate. And um, it's a book of a bunch of essays about San Francisco, people who have lived here, people who have left the city and it's a very romantic I would say book. I feel like I learned a lot of stuff about the city from that book because some people have lived in San Francisco in the 80s and that gives me a glimpse on what it was really like back then. Oh my god another one one of my absolute favorites The Alchemist. It's a really feel good book about the power of dreaming, the power of the universe, the power of manifestation. I love it. It's I don't know, even if you don't believe in that stuff, I think it's a really beautiful book to read. Part that I love the most about the Amazon store is the fact that it has reviews on everything and because I do buy so much stuff on Amazon, the fact that it right away gives me the reviews, how many ratings there are on the products makes me trust uh, the products and the selection a lot more. And every time I come here, I buy something that maybe I didn't need, but I'm pretty happy with the purchase nonetheless. And here's the book that I was looking for, Braiding Sweetgrass. Okay, I got the book. Um, it's a book that a couple of friends recommended to me already and I'm actually listening to it right now and I thought a friend of mine would enjoy um, receiving it as a gift. Um, it's a book written by a botanist about um, how indigenous people lived in harmony with nature and she basically uses a lot of very descriptive, very um, immersive I would say language um, to tell the stories of the indigenous people and how um, they lived in as one with nature without you know harming it um that i think is more or less the, descri the description of the book as i said i am still reading it so perhaps the description wasn't very well summarized um but it's a very pretty book let's get started i have a stack of some books over here some books unfortunately i don't have here on me um they were either in la or i read them online First book, an absolute classic, a book by Ben Horowitz, the co-founder of Andreessen Horowitz, The Hard Things About Hard Things. Um, it's a book about his startup journey, which is pretty insane. There are some crazy stories in there. Um, it's a very practical book as well that teaches you a lot of hard lessons about being a startup co-founder and some of the like challenging things that you might be, you might have to go through. And the section that particularly stood out to me was a section about hiring, uh, where he basically talks about how whenever you hire, and as you guys can tell, that was like a topic that was on my mind for quite a few weeks. Whenever Whenever you hire, you should hire for the skills that you need right this moment, as opposed to hiring for what you might need six months from now or a year from now, because you never know. Startups are unpredictable. You have no idea what kind of shoes you would need to fill um, a bit later. So hire for the skill set that you need right this moment, and that's what you should be prioritizing. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm wearing this 
Harvard's hoodie. Not because I went to Harvard, I did not, but a friend of mine uh, raised money for, for his funds uh, from the Harvard Endowment Fund. So I'm representing now, he gave me the swag and if you're watching this, I am very much rocking the Harvard swag. Um, so, you know, I kind of went to Harvard by association, but not really. Second book is a bit unintuitive potentially of a choice. It's The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And this book, I believe, is a must read for anyone actually, not just, uh, not, not only if you're on a startup journey. I think this is a very important book because it teaches you about the power of being present. And this is something that I've struggled a lot with. I always was thinking about oh, what what are my goals? Like what's gonna happen, I don't know, three months from now. Okay, when I'm gonna, you know, get that promotion, then finally that I'm gonna be happy and my life will be complete and I will be enjoying it more. Uh, but the reality is that right this moment only now exists. And if you're building your own company or if you're aspiring to build a company, I think that the ability to be present, have fun in the presence, prioritize the present is of utmost importance because if you're always looking on the past or looking at the future, you're just gonna burn out. And that's something that I've experienced on myself. And this book, I'm actually still slowly reading uh, parts of it. Um, it's a really good book to read chapter by chapter and just like really think about how you can be applying uh, principles from it to your life. And trust me, it's gonna make you generally a happier person. Okay, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by uh, Stephen Covey. It's a book that I read a long time ago and I have to reread it, but it's not as cliche as it might sound. Uh, like it's not a book that, you know, you can just summarize into a medium post and be done with. There is a lot of practical tips about um, how you can, you know, work backwards uh, whenever you come up with any type of plan or strategy, how you can be more effective, more productive, how you can be a better leader, how you can be a better communicator. I'm planning to reread this book because I think that there will be a lot of things that I'll get out of it um, the second time around. A book that I have not read yet, but I am planning to, and I already bought it because, you know, one click Amazon buy button. It's the 15 commitments um, of conscious leadership. Honestly, I'm not gonna talk much about what this book is about because I have to read it myself, but a um, couple of months ago, I've explored executive coaching um, and I think I've talked about it in my 2022 goals video. A coach is basically a person that helps you hold you accountable to your goals, helps you come up with a plan, helps you be a better communicator, leader, uh, person. But basically when I was exploring executive coaching, one of the coaches uh, really recommended me to read this book and then another friend recommended me to read this book. So I think it's a book with just commandments on how to generally be a better leader because all of us can be better leader, better leaders in all parts of our lives, not just professionally. So definitely putting it on the list. The Cold Start Problem, a very recent, uh, recently published book, already a bestseller in the category, a book by a friend, Andrew Chen, who uh, led product growth at Uber and is currently an investor at Andreas and Horowitz. Fantastic book. It's about network effects and network effects um, essentially determine the growth of your products. And so he is exploring um, how different marketplaces and different, uh, different companies that are marketplaces specifically, and also companies that are not marketplaces got started and got their initial set of users. So he's looking at Slack, he's looking at uh, Uber, he's looking at Airbnb. So there's a lot of really practical examples on how companies got their networks started. And he's basically exploring the framework of how to kickstart a marketplace, how to kickstart any type of um, business really and create those network effects. I think that this book is a fantastic read for anyone who is starting a company and I'm planning to reread it and actually take more specific notes. Next up, we have The Great CEO Within. This book is very thin, very quick read, and it's by Matt Mockery, who is an executive coach, we talked a little bit about coaching, to a bunch of Silicon Valley CEOs. And what I like about this book is that it's 
one, a very easy read, and it's incredibly practical. It's almost like a reference book because essentially he divides the book into a bunch of different sections um, of your startup journey. So there is a section on recruiting. There is a section on time management. Um, he basically summarizes, speaking of time management, all the you know productivity techniques and hacks that you might probably read in other books or blog posts. It's basically a practical guide to... Um, basically oh my god i should start saying the word basically so much it's a practical guide to different stages of company building so i'm planning to probably put this book on my desk and reference it from time to time some things i read and i know that i'm not gonna remember them because it's not the stage we're at i'm not gonna apply any of that information yet so i think this is a again a reference type of book and last but not least um is atomic habits one of my productivity favorites. Um, it's a book by James Clear. It's basically a best-selling staple uh, for anyone who wants to uh, figure out how to create better habits for themselves and make those habits stick because um, James basically goes into the neuroscience of brain of ha for habit development. And I think, you know, as individuals, as professionals, as humans, we obviously always want to get better at certain things. Now it's the new year, we have a bunch of resolutions. I don't know, go to the gym often or stop scrolling social media. I'm talking about myself. And essentially Atomic Habits just describes um, how you can make habits stick. And the TLDR is, you know, make very, very small changes continuously. And uh, obviously there is the 21 day rule of any habit takes 21 days to actually develop and stick. But yeah, it's a very easy read, um, very enjoyable book talks about the brain and science, so I highly recommend it. Let me know if you have any other recommendations on the topic. I always love hearing what books you guys have loved, um, so please let me know. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful week. I'm super excited about my week, and bye for now.